On the red carpet, Blood vs. Water, standing here with Laura and Sierra, the cute couple. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're, it's like little mini Laura. You guys look oh, exactly the same, no, except she, you're taller. I know. I know, she comes up all the time and she'll stand up behind me like... I like her to know that I'm taller than her. Oh, you guys are so beautiful, I, seriously. Like, even on this show, without makeup or anything, I was just like, it's tough, you guys. It's harder than that looks. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, what a great relationship. Honestly, that was like the highlight of the season. I really do believe that. Just the mother-daughter thing that played out with everyone else, but especially with you guys. Just to see the growth that happened and, and the, the role reversal thing. I'm sure for both of you, that must have been like a huge pivotal moment to realize that suddenly you were asking questions of each other that you would normally ask in real life. And it, do you find that that is now happening now in your real life? No, we're back to where we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm back to telling her her business She'll all like, over. Like, Mom, do you remember that time on Survivor when I would tell you to do something and you would do it? And I'm like, like, Sierra, no. It's over now. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Just like that. It's just like, you know, we've been through so much um, from a young age. And so to go through this great experience and to see her grow into this woman is amazing. So the question when he said, could you grow closer? I, I can't love her anymore, but I definitely see her and just respect her. Mm. <laughs> and I'm so Aww. proud of her, so proud of her. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me cry so again. <laughs> so proud of her. Wow, so, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about uh, your strategy and like the big moves that you made and, and the really ballsy things you did at Tribal Council and made people switch their ideas at like the last minute. Um, we were talking earlier uh, about if you had shifted at seven, I think it was, instead of later on, like how different your game would have been. Do you have any regrets at all that you didn't make the big moves earlier? I do not. <laughs> and I think that's something that is hard for, you know, viewers to understand is you're seeing, you know, an hour of three days. And, you know, you don't get to see each and every relationship and, you know, how it builds. And I had a close bond with Tyson and I always felt like it was me and Tyson. You know, the day of the tribe swap, it was me and Tyson. And he came and he goes, look, we're going to make this alliance of five, but it's you and me. And when we get, you know, closer and closer, we'll figure out who we want three to be. And, and Hayden, who wrote my name down already, you know, and then, and Hayden really wanted my mom out, you know, the week previous. There was a lot of things that went into the decision I made. And so for me to say, I mean, hey, look, look how the votes turned out. If I would have done anything different at that moment, I would have gone home. Like, and then for Hayden to come back to camp and be yelling at me, I'm like, dude, <laughs> you almost voted me out. Like, who are you to tell me that? Sometimes people need a little reality check on the show. You know, they're very quick to point fingers and blame people for things that they're doing themselves. And, you know, that is part of the game. And it's, it, it's definitely harder for some people to understand their own moves versus what other people are doing. Um, How you screwed up their game. It's always how you screwed up my game. Why didn't you do this? We could have been together. And yeah, because I'm not playing for you. I'm playing for me. And it's hard for people to get that. Exactly. And this comes to another question. And there's already rumors all over the internet that you're going to get asked back. And I would almost be certain that you will be. Will you do it? I would go back. And it's sick. It's like really <laughs> sick. Because I'm, my out, daughter. I'm out there and I'm like, Mom, I'm never doing this again. I'm like, I am hungry and I am dirty and I'm, you know, and it's stressful and I'm tired. But now that I'm home, I'm like, that was awesome. And, you know, I learned so much about myself and so much from, like, you know, the returning players. It sounds funny, but from Tyson, from Monica, from my mom, from Jerv, like, you learn as you're out there. And I definitely feel like my story was a story of growth. And I feel like... I'm not done growing and I feel like I could dominate and I feel like I've taken so much from this season, which is a season unlike any other. You know, I, I wouldn't, I don't know, I, I, would, I would go back and it's sick and it's weird, but. I would. Believe me, I totally understand. <laughs> well, you played an amazing game and you guys were both so beautiful to watch and I wish you nothing but the best and I, I hope to see both of you guys come back, honestly. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. <laughs>